cannot afford to sit back and watch him bowl seven overs and 15 runs. So they've both decided in tandem they're going to go at him. And that has upset his line and his length considerably already. Not the screen after we've seen previously in the series. A trick of well by Great Black. That's his strength. That's a beautiful shot. Down the wicket. They'll pick up four more. That's, of course, the great risk of having uh, a spinner bowl to a batsman like Great Match. Ah! Hold on. That's very well bowled by Archie Skippel. Flat to Great Match knock his run out today. New Zealand have lost the wicket in the 11th over. It's 62 for one. Oops! Between wicketkeeper and Smith, that should have been taken. Oh, that's a huge shot. That's going to go a long, long way. We don't need an umpire for that one. That has to be six. That was a typical one-day shot. It gets caught to the edge and goes to third man for four. And he goes over the top again, margin throw. That's the gap we're talking about. And four more runs. It's straight back to Prabhaka, just gets his hand to it. Not unable, not able to hold on to that. Oh, attempted slow run again. This time Ashish Kapoor can do nothing about it. A poor delivery from Prasad. And again, this is bad bowling. Glorious shot this from Martin Crow down the track. High, wide and handsome. Six runs and what a way to get his 50. <laughs> Mid off for six. And again he's given himself room and smashed it in the air or to the offside to four more. <laughs> <laughs> no ball is the call and has to take full toll of that square of the wicket for four more. Oh, Tyson has gone to the offside and this will be Nathan Aston 100. The crowd celebrates for him. The teammates celebrate in the pavilion. And the hat goes off. Fantastic effort from Nathan Aston. What will they deserve, Hunter? I don't think what will deserve, Hunter. And an intrusion. He's going to like to appreciate that. A kiss of the feet. A little bit of a blessing. 113 balls for 118 asphalt. So Astle through the offside. Perfect placement and four more. Sweeney lost in this over mid off. He makes one bounce score. And Sweeney down the wicket. And he's middle that. You can go back all you like, but you'll never catch it. And next year in the turn. As Sokwan Pantu steps out and off it goes. Philistines. Of course. Fleming just improvising somewhat there. And that's a magnificent pull shot behind square leg for four more. And he's down the time, giving himself room, trying to hit over the cover area, but only finding the Indian captain, Nathan Astor. But he gets a standing ovation here for a tremendous innings. I think that shot was more out of uh, trying to go for the big score, going for the big shot. I think it's more or less a tight shot than anything else. Okay. Well, that's a big hit. But he's found the man as he's looking at it, but he's touched the line. So it will be interesting to see what the umpire out of chairs. In the catch when uh, and Empire Suresh Shastri has decided that Chris Cairns is out. Let's have a look at it again. Look at that. He takes that catch. He's completed that catch and, and the... Then he touched it. He had completed the catch and after that, just trying to keep his limbs. Yes, he's completed it. a 
two bit of fielding by the North Company. This could be four runs. Sanjay Manjega again having to do a lot of work there and does a good job in saving what have been a certain boundary. And it's a equally good throw from him which runs out for the two. Tremendous piece of fielding by Sanjay Manjega. Empire and the men are not needing the third empire and New Zealand lose the fifth wicket with a score of 323. Look at that fantastic piece of fielding. A certain four stopped very well and a lovely flat throw just across. No chance whatsoever. The batsman was miles away. In the air from Thompson, he might just clear the field and he does. Over Srinath's head. The six runs, that really was a good shot from Shane Thompson. Ah! The attempted ball and he's gone this time. A quicker one from Kumway. And Shane Thompson caught him in front. He's bowled in. Lee Jamal trying to improvise there but missing the ball altogether. And bowled neck and crop by Javagal Srinath. 349 now they only have 49 overs to get them as well that's because they bowled at a rate which uh, the match referee peter burge has got away from delta in the wicket by kings The important thing is when Morrison breaks the stumps, he breaks them there, and there's red light. Great the work from Chris Cairns, can be to celebrate, and Prabhaka can't quite believe it. And Goss has gone over the top, and that's gone all the way to six. Magnificent stroke. He's throwing down the leg stump, and see how well Sutton gets back the ball. Good try there by Keynes. And once again, over the onside. And that's Paul Moore. And smile at the end of that one. And we come out of the confidence. And beautifully played by the North Company. Square on the outside for Peter Moore. And he's gone after him this time to the offside. And a glorious straight drive from Vinod Comley this time. Oh, what a catch there by Martin Clough. Absolutely brilliant. Vinod Comley there really smashed it on the offside. And Martin Clough, stooping down, takes an absolute blinder. Another wicket gone for India, 71 for two. Oh, he's gone over the top of mid wicket and four runs to Sachin Tendulkar. And he's bowled in Chris Cairns. Off stump goes out of the ground to Mohamed Ozilbeen. Trying to play across the line again. And Chris Cairns has got through him. Third Indian wicket gone, 77 on the board. It's got to be mixed up here and someone's got to go and it's Ken Delta. That's the wicket New Zealand wants it. Great fielding by Mark Great Batch. Total mix up between the batsmen and Ken Delta is gone. Mandreka definitely came out and then went back. See that brilliant piece of fielding by Martin, uh, by Mark Great Batch. Oh, that is definitely about cricket. So it's going to go and run out for 65, 124 for four. Oh, this is a glorious shot, Ajay Jadeja. It's gone many a mile out of the ground. Six runs. Bunga comes down the track this time, but only manages to find the fielder at long on. Straight down the throat. India lose their sixth wicket, 202 runs on the board. And again, he's gone over the top and for four runs. Over the top goes Srinath and straight down the field of stroke. 
at deep mid-wicket. Dan Thompson wins the battle. India moves the seventh wicket, 211 for 7 India. So this is before run for Jay Jadeja. So an interesting. He's gone. Coming from innings by Jadeja. Very well played, Jadeja. Well done. Fighting it on till the very end. One bounce and into the fence. It's another one. This time the field getting under it. It goes past him, but does he make it? He makes it clean. So that is the end of the Indian innings. Young picks up another one down there. Third catch is substitute, and New Zealand have won this match. I guess a very fair result. Definitely. So India really needed Tenduka to fire at the top of the order. Produced one blistering over against Danny Morrison when he got 20 from it. The bowling figures revealing Shane Thompson 3 for 63. It is important he picked up wickets. Chris Cairns, though, I thought was uh, the bowler. 2 for 32 from 7 overs. Larson got 2 overs too. Not much luck today for Danny Morrison and uh, Dion Nash. And here is the man that stood head and shoulders above the mall. His debut century in one day international cricket. Nathan Astle of New Zealand. He collects the trophy for the Pepsi Man of the Match. It's the fifth match of the series.